Story time of how my dad decided he was gonna cook my cat. Yes, you heard me correctly. My dad decided to cook my cat in the oven. Just a heads up, this story does end up getting a little crazy. So me and my best friend are neighbors. So about 9 a.m. every morning, me and my best friend, we meet up and we work out. We use the app Fitness Coach. And just a little off topic really quick, that app is literally amazing. Me and her have gotten our dream bodies from it. And the link to that will also be in my bio. But anyways, back on track. We meet up every morning and we do our workout. And then afterwards, we come inside for like a lunch slash breakfast. Mind you, my dad absolutely hated my cat to begin with. So one day we come in about 30 minutes earlier than we usually do. And we see my dad shaving my cat. He told me that something was wrong with her and all her fur was going to fall off anyways. And you know, I believe him because why would I think my dad's going to cook my cat? He said he was going to take care of it. So I run to my room and I start crying because, you know, my cat's hurt. So 20 minutes of crying goes by. And I come out to see my dad trying to cook my kitty. Oh my god, it's time like for part two. Part two of how my dad was going to cook my cat. So then I walk into my kitchen and I see my dad literally trying to cook my cat. My cat is in the oven, just laying there. So I start freaking out. I literally start screaming and panicking and my dad is laughing his butt off. Like crazy type laugh. I grab my cat out of the oven and it's literally not moving. And he tells me that he gave it some type of shot to make it like... Like the shot makes the cat get injected out of the game. So basically the cat won't live no more. If he hated the cat, why didn't he just put it down or give it away or not cook it? This may be a little detail, but my cat's head decided to like expand because of the heat. Yeah, probably the most traumatizing experience I've ever had. Oh, I do not live with my dad anymore. Honestly, I was scared he was going to try to cook me next. My mom never did anything about it. Mom, if you see this, you're literally just as crazy as he is. In the minute I turn 18, I'm out of this house. And all I have to say is, Dad, if you're seeing this, I literally hope somebody cooks you in the oven or in a big old melting pot like the witches do. Story time of how I found out that my mom was putting our dad's ashes in our food. Yep, our mom would put our dead dad's ashes in our dinner. So basically, after my dad died, my mom showed zero emotion. It's like she really didn't care at all. Like she kind of wanted it to happen. His death was like an unsolved case, and nobody knows how he actually died. And now that I get to think about it, it might have been my mom, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. And if it was her and she sees this video, I don't want to end up like him. Anyways, back to the story. So about a month after he died, she would always post a picture of me and my brother's dinner with the caption, you'll always be with them. Literally every single night. And honestly, nobody really caught on. All the comments were like, we're praying, we're praying, this and that. Until one day I was just sitting on the couch and I look over and my mom was pouring something into the mashed potatoes. So I go a little closer and I see her pouring the ashes of my dad into our mashed potatoes. Listen, this story only gets 10 times worse, so like for a part two. Part two of how my mom was putting my dad's ashes in me and my brother's dinner. Continue on with the story, after I see her literally pouring my dad's ashes into our mashed potatoes, and I mean, this lady literally sees me staring at her pouring the ashes into our mashed potatoes, and she, like, doesn't even say anything. I was just, uh, you know, a little shocked. So after that, I just kept quiet until after dinner, and I was mad at my brother that night, so I just let him eat the ash mashed potatoes. So after dinner, I went up to my mom and asked her why she was putting our dad's ashes in our food. And her exact words were, your father was a bad man. He wasn't meant to be here. I said, what does that have to do with you putting his ashes in our dinner? She goes, it will just cleanse your soul. The witches told me to feed my children's father to them. Bishwai? I ended up telling my brother, but then me and him decided not to ever say anything ever again because we don't want her little spirits telling them to do the same thing with us, so...